Once you've created an object in 3D Studio Max, there are a number of ways to edit its parameters. Its parameters are its size, its detail, and so forth. Let's start by placing a sphere in the scene. Note that before I do this, under the stack in the Create panel, there's really nothing there except for the object type. When I click on Sphere, you can see that all of a sudden in the rollout we have our object parameters, keyboard entry, and the creation method. So when I create my sphere, you can see that the parameters change dynamically here in the stack. Once I've created the object and it's still selected, I can change the object's radius here in the creation panel. I can also change its detail and some other features or parameters of that object. Once I deselect the object, however, the information is no longer in the stack, even if I select the object again. Once it's been deselected, you have to go to the Modify panel. Now, in the Modify panel, you'll find the same parameters that were there when you created it. You can now change the radius, the detail, and all the other parameters. There's one more way to modify an object. Select it with the mouse, with a left click, and then right click to get this transform menu. I can move, rotate, scale, I can transform in just the X direction, so it's transform in the Y direction, transform in the Z direction, and you can see that just the Z axis here is highlighted. So I can only move it in the Z direction in that particular view. I can select children, deselect children, and I can also select the object's properties. When I click on this, I get the object properties for this particular object. I can rename the object here. I can check its dimensions. It's, it can change its color. I can change the display properties for just this object, the rendering control for just this object, the motion blur settings, the G buffer, which we'll talk about later. And then I can add user defined properties. Click OK. So there are a number of different ways to modify an object's parameters. The first way is by modifying it after it's been created under the Create panel in the Parameters rollout. The second way is if you've deselected the object and you select it again by clicking on the Modify panel and going to the Parameters rollout. The third way is by selecting the object with the left click and then right clicking to get the Transform menu.